founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, T.B. Joshua, has died. His death has been confirmed by his church. The preacher died last night at a Lagos hospital. He was 57 years old. The news of his death came as a shock to many. Several people have been expressing their thoughts on social media, and the cause of his death is not known at this stage. Now, in September 2014, a guest house belonging to the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Lagos, headed by preacher T.B. Joshua, collapsed, killing 116 people. More than 80 of those who died were South Africans. Their remains were repatriated back to the country two months later. One of the journalists who went to Nigeria and closely followed the repatriation process was our foreign editor, Sophie Mokwena. She joins us now live on the line for more. Sophie, a very good morning to you. Firstly, what more are we learning with regards to the circumstances surrounding the death of T.B. Joshua? Well, the message that was released uh, uh, from the church itself uh, hasn't indicated the cause of death. It has not been uh, revealed. But uh, we are told that uh, he attended a meeting yesterday, the meeting of the church, and after the meeting he went home, and then later there were reports that he has passed on. So it is not clear yet what led to his uh, passing on. So, Sophie, take us back uh, to that story that you covered with regards to uh, the, the building that collapsed back in 2014. Remind our viewers what happened back then. Well, uh, at that time, I was uh, a part of the politics team. I remember I was leading a politics team that was covering the collapse of the church building. Actually, it was a multi-story guest house that collapsed. And uh, in that building or that multi-story guest house, you had people coming from different parts of the world attending a church service, and they uh, died when the building collapsed. And South Africans were also caught in that uh, tragedy. And 84 South Africans died uh, during that uh, building, when the building collapsed. But only 74 bodies were repatriated to South Africa. In total, people who died were 116 uh, individuals from different countries, but majority were South Africans. And the South African government then, uh, under the leadership of President Jacob Zuma, and the minister in the presidency, Jeff Hadebe, uh, started the process, including the Department of Defense and International Relations. And, of course, environment, because you also have to take into consideration issues of environment when you repatriate <coughs> uh, bodies. And therefore, uh, this was done. We went to Lagos and uh, uh, meetings with the authorities. Uh, he was reluctant to release the body, and the Nigerian government was not also cooperating, but finally they did cooperate, and uh, the South African Defense Force uh, planes uh, came, and the bodies were repatriated back to South Africa. Uh, the third thing is that uh, there was supposed to be a court case that was uh, supposed to look into this matter and unfortunately it was concluded but it was not conclusive in terms of uh, what transpired and what needs to happen and therefore I think some of family members uh, are still aggrieved because uh, they couldn't get uh, closure and proper answers in terms of uh, who was supposed to take responsibility but the church continued later, and it was still very popular and famous. When you look at their television station, Emmanuel, you can see that uh, uh, every Sunday there are still people who are flocking to the church and the church services, and uh, the leader of the church, uh, T.B. Joshua, would constantly address the church. He was also a philanthropist and uh, a leader of that synagogue, Church of All Nations. 
Yeah, give us a sense, uh, Sophie, of how popular he was uh, in Africa and in particular here in South Africa. He was very popular in South Africa. Uh, even recently, you'd see people at the airport uh, dressed in the T-shirts of the Church of All Nations uh, uh, going to Nigeria. So even though the groups were not as large as they used to be before 2014, but you still had people who had uh, strong belief that uh, he can be able to assist them in their different challenges. And people were still going there around the continent. And many other heads of state would still go there and they were uh, attending the church and high profile people or individuals on the continent, but also in South America as well. Uh, uh, the Africans in the diaspora, he had uh, a strong following in other parts of the world. He, he, was, he was very, very popular, very popular. Right. This is a developing story. No doubt we will keep tabs on it. We are trying to get our, our correspondent in Nigeria as well to give us the very latest. But Sophie, thank you very much indeed for giving us the information of what we know at this stage for an editor, Sophie Mokwena, there.